This is a sample from our training at itdvds.com. If you'd like to learn more, please go to itdvds.com. Okay, I'm on a server core installation of Windows Server 2016, and I can do an IP config here and see, okay, I've got a default gateway on this network adapter of 192.168.6.1. Let's say I want to change that, and we're going to do it with PowerShell. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in PowerShell. If I want to see my network adapters with PowerShell, I can use the get-net adapter commandlet. Now, this is not going to show us the IP configuration. It's just going to show us the network adapters. To see the IP configuration, we're going to use the get-net IP configuration commandlet, and that'll show us all the different IP configurations we have on all of our different NICs. So we can see, okay, yeah, this is interface uh, alias Ethernet up here with an index of 5, and it's got an IP version 4 default gateway of 192.168.6.1. Now another quick way to see all the default gateways on our computer, because we can technically have multiple default gateways set up, we can use the get dash net route commandlet minus destination prefix and the default gateways destination prefix is 0.0.0.0 slash .0, 0. Now normally we're only going to have one default gateway. A lot of times if we have multiple default gateways, it's going to cause routing problems. But I can see I only have one here and I can see the interface that it's configured on. So in order to change this, we might think we configure it on the interface, but actually this has to do with the routing table. So we're going to use the remove dash net route commandlet, specify the interface index of 5, the destination prefix for this particular route, and the next hop, which is 192.168.6.1, which is what we have configured for our default gateway. So once we remove that, what that's going to do is make it so we don't have a, a default gateway. I'm going to type in yes, and this is going to remove it from the active store, and this is going to remove it from the persistent store in our routing table. So active has to do with what's currently being used in our routing table, and persistent has to do with, let's say we reboot the computer, is this route going to show back up? And if it's in the persistent store, then yes, it will, which is normally what we want for a default gateway. But now we've just removed it. Now we need to add a new gate, default gateway, and we're going to use the new dash net route commandlet, specify the interface that we want to add it to. So I'm adding it to interface index 5. The destination prefix for a default gateway is 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0, and the next hop is what the default gateway is. So in my case, it's 192.168.6.254 is what I'm changing it to. So I'll go ahead and hit enter, and you'll notice there's two entries here. One is for the active store, one is for the persistent store. But if we go back and do the get-net route commandlet, we can see there's our new default gateway. And it's not as though it's been entered twice. And we use the get dash net IP configuration commandlet and see that it's been changed on our network adapter here to 192.168.6.254.